Hi everyone, and welcome again to Nettle, the go-to place to learn about business, finance, economics, and much, much more. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell notification button below so that you never miss fresh videos and tutorials you might be interested in. Many thanks to our current Patreon supporters and YouTube members for making this video possible, and we'd also greatly appreciate if you consider supporting us as well. So do check the link in the description or click the join button below for more details. My name is Seva, and today we're investigating a very simple, yet quite powerful, robust regression technique, which is the Thile Sen Median Estimation. And it deals with outliers that can quite um, severely impact the ordinary least squares, estimators of slopes and intercepts. The Thile Sen approach is most clearly presentable in a two variable case, we've got a simple regression of y onto the x variable. It is generalizable to multi-dimensional cases, however, there it's less obvious how to apply it. But we'll deal with a two-dimensional case here. And we'll use the returns of a stock from S&P 500, which is Albemarle, and it's a stock that's quite heavily exposed to commodities, so there might be quite a lot of outliers. Uh, in its daily performance across the past year. We've got daily data for one year worth of um, stock returns, uh, as well as the S&P 500 returns that will re seek to regress Albemarle on to estimate its beta. And obviously the easiest way, the go-to way would be to use the OLS um, estimation. And here we can just use slope and intercept. So for the slope, for the beta, we'll estimate the uh, beta coefficient based on Albemarle's daily returns as our Y and uh, S&P 500 um, returns as S and get an intercept and get the value of the slope as 1.46, meaning that Albemarle is quite a bit riskier than the market at large. For the intercept, we can perform the same manipulation but with the intercept function. And that would allow us to see that the daily intercept of Albemarle is slightly positive if we convert it to a percentage, we'll see it's 0.23% per day. And well, we have got some uh, concerns here that can be possible due to those outliers that we can see over here. There are days when Albemarle's return is as high as plus 10% and uh, as low as negative 20%, which seems to be quite um, unrelied on the market dynamics. So we can estimate the Thailand Sen uh, median uh, slope and uh, talents and median regression overall using the following procedure. And for this, we'll need to investigate all potential pairs of uh, points of Y and X. And Y here is the album model return and X here is S&P 500 return. To do that, we can build a 251 uh, on 251 matrix as we've got 251 observations and use the index function to calculate the slope based on every single pair of points. What is important here is that we only need to consider non-trivial points where the values of x are not the same. As if the values of x will be the same, the slope estimator would not be defined as the denominator would be uh, zero. So here we need to implement uh, an index function as well as an if error function to perform this smoothly. So first we start with if error, and uh, by definition, uh, as a baseline calculation, we'll first need to figure out the difference in the y variable. So we go index, refer to the Albemarle returns over here, and we'll lock them both low and column wise. We refer to the first indexing variable over here, locking the column only. Then to uh, complete our numerator, we can subtract the y variable uh, denoted by the second indexing variable, and here we'll lock the row. And then we define our denominator, which is the same procedure applied to the x variable, to the independent variable, in our case, S&P 500 returns. So we can just copy that across and change those cell references to column B, which contain the S&P 500 returns in our case. And that completes the calculation. The only thing that we need to figure out is if there is an error, if in this case, the denominator is zero, meaning that uh, the x variable has the same value, we'll need to return nothing. So we just can put empty parentheses here, press enter. And obviously for point one, one, where we investigate the slope based on the same point, we'll have an error and that would return an empty cell. However, if we drag this across 
as well as bottom when I click it down, will calculate slopes based on every single pair of points we've got. And the Talensen uh, median regression um, demands that the median of those individual estimators is indeed the uh, regression output. So the median of those slopes, and again, we don't need to care about the blank values here because those would not be counted if you apply the median function. The slope here is 1.61, which is quite a bit higher than 1.46 that returned uh, from the OLS estimation. And that's quite typical for this particular approach, given the fact that OLS uh, is distorted by outliers and sometimes the slope can be biased downward, which can uh, underestimate the degree of market risk of uh, your stock if you deal with this particular estimation. And generally, if we're dealing with linear regression in any application, the um, outliers or errors in our variables could lead to a biased downward uh, estimator, which can cause uh, a lot of problems. And this particular uh, robustness procedure can, well, at least partially alleviate that. And for the intercept, we can calculate simply the median of the expression over here, which is the abnormal return given by the median estimate we have got here as our slope. So we calculate the median of abnormal returns minus the slope times the respective benchmark returns that are over here. And we see that our intercept is quite a bit smaller than in the OLS case, and our slope is quite a bit larger, meaning that uh, the alpha that we would have estimated in this case is decreased due to the fact that the outliers we observed um, underestimated the degree of market risk Albemarle is exposed to. And finally, to visualize this nicely, we can calculate the Thailand Sen uh, expected value, Thailand Sen line of best fit, by using the intercept and slope over here. So intercept, row locked plus slope, row locked times the x variable of the market return with the column locked. We can drag it across for the OLS fit as well, or make it down and see how those two lines of fit are relatively close to each other. However, the Thailand Sen line is quite a bit steeper. And that's what you always, or at least almost always, find with this robust regression application. And that's all there is for the application of the Thailand Sen uh, robust median regression uh, based on the um, scattered plot of stock returns. Please leave a like on this video if you found it helpful. In the comments below, I'm into any further suggestions for videos and business finance or economics you would like me to record. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon. Thank you very much and stay tuned.